I have finally got uh, the parts in, which will uh, allow me to get our brand new motor into this bad boy. There's a couple of things we've got to do beforehand. Uh, one thing I really, I've already taken care of, and I uh, did it earlier this morning, was um, basically uh, the pinion that I had in here originally was um, it had a bore of one point. Uh, sorry, 3.1 mils, which is for one of these small little shafts, which is a fantastic. However, uh, the motor that I've actually got has a 5 millimeter uh, shaft, so that wasn't going on that. So what I did is um, I went ahead and ordered a couple of extra ones and uh, actually bought it out. And uh, what I do is uh, I'll put in the clip in now of uh, me borrowing it out. So, uh, uh, again, apologies for the lighting. It was in my garage, and uh, yeah, that's where I keep all my dirty tools, uh, you know. <laughs> right, so, we've got that sorted. Uh, got opinion on the, on the motor. Next thing is, what I'm gonna do, let me get you a bit closer so you can see what I'm talking about. Right, so, this is where the motor sits. So here's our new motor with its uh, lovely collar on. Uh, we'll slide that in there. She sits in like that. So right now, um, the motor is not sitting perfectly flush down into the case because of uh, this piece here. So the original motor is a lot shorter. Let's get the original motor out. It's a lot shorter, as you can see, and it clears it clears that. So what we need to do is we need to remove some material from here to allow that a new motor to sit in because a new motor comes up to about here, and uh, yeah, that's going to be no good. So uh, let's just take care of that quickly. Right, so there's uh, right, so there's many ways I can skin this cat. I'm just gonna use my Dremel with a little sanding bit. I'm just gonna get in there and the best I can and just get rid of the most of this bulk to try and match this stand that's already here. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly the same as long as it's as low as this or lower, so I like it to the motor can sit straight. That's all I need. So uh, here we go. Right, I have made a fine mess, but as you can see, we have now removed the material from here. Right, and now our lovely motor, our lovely motor will sit. Look at that, she's sitting in there, lovely now. That is absolutely beautiful. Just wanted to give you guys a bit of a close up of the way it's meshed. It's nicely aligned there, as you can see. Right, the whole gear is uh, it's, it's connecting 100%. That's exactly what you want. I think that is a nice little fit. I think that is fitted in nicely. And if I take the mirror out, you can see my handiwork there. Just carved out this bit here, just to allow for him to sit. So yeah, that is fantastic. 
Right guys, so what I like to do is I've already uh, pre-put Velcro down here. I like to use Velcro because then I can move these about as I please. If the position's not right, I can always move it and uh, obviously uh, I can peel these off and put them on other projects if I need to. So uh, here we've got the speed controller. We'll get this guy on. Uh, should we bolt the motor down first? Bolt the motor down first so that we can see the position of the wires and then we'll take it from there. So we get this guy in, we get the motor cover in, and we'll screw her down. I've just noticed that when I put this on, can you see how <laughs> this is hitting the case? So what I need to do is, uh, the shaft is too long, so I'm going to have to make space for this, basically, in the case. Uh, yeah, I could do that, or I could shim the motor to pull this forward, I think that's what I'm going to do. If I put a couple of washes in here, if I put a couple of washes in here and pull the pull this out and move the motor back, then it should, it should work. So let's do that. Alright, so all I need to do is put a couple of washers behind this bracket and the motor, and then we should be good. So, I've got these very small washers. If I put three on each leg, that might do the trick. Are my screws long enough? That's the next problem. Screws aren't long enough. Actually, you see the rub mark just there. You might be able to make it out. Yes, yeah, so what's happening, guys, is. Uh, is that focus for you guys? It is, there you go. The shaft of the motor is about, what? Let's say probably about a mil and a half, a mil, too big, and it's rubbing against the casing. So what I'm gonna have to do is use my Dremel, put a little bit of relief here. Hopefully there's enough plastic behind here. If I do go through, I'll have to add a bit of hot glue there just to seal it up, because I don't really want any grime getting into this case. All right, so let me get my Dremel out and do that. Alright guys, that feels really good now, it's spinning freely, so uh, yeah, I'm going to call that good, let's get it back together, let's get our lovely motor back in, nice, let's get the tape case on top now, now we're all adjusted, moving nicely, let's get the screws on, button this, this button her up and uh, get, the rest of the, the, get the rest of the electronics on. You want to kind of match these wires up naturally to so the switch. Is over here. You want the switch to come down in here. Uh, this is going to go to the uh, receiver. I suppose, and we've got the battery connector here as well. So I suppose we could put the ECU this way around. Makes kind of sense. It's velcro anyway, so we can always move that back. It's no problem. Uh, we'll plug up these wires just in a random order for now. And then we can always switch them later if there's a problem. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cable tie anything together yet. Just until I'm happy with everything, hundred uh, uh, percent. Where's my receiver? Here's my receiver. So uh, we will get this guy in here on the side. Uh, there's our aerial. Actually, let's put that all around. Let's put this guy like this. That's the beauty of Velcro. I didn't like it. I swapped it. So this is for. So what is it? One to turn, two to burn. This is channel two. Let's get this guy in here. Nice. And then it tucked away here, I have my steering servo. So we get it plugged in as well. And I apologize, it is gonna look like a mess at the moment because I'm, I haven't got anything tied it up. And um, we're actually nearly there. Uh, here's my little battery. Uh, once this Guys, plugged in, we are hot. So, there we go, guys. It's all done. We are now hot. I can't get my remote control, and we'll uh, turn around and see if we can't get this wheel spinning for the first time. I am genuinely excited. We have uh, I've got her ready here. I'm gonna turn on the buggy and switch her on. Oh, here we go. We've got some life. Got the controller.
There we go. Are we ready? <laughs> Show you some front. I'm a bit. I'm a bit freaked out. I'm holding on the front. There we go, guys. Hopefully she runs nice. Oh, hey. That looks good to me, guys. Breaking working. Breaking working nice. Breaking is working lovely. Absolutely beautiful. I am over the moon. So uh, all we've got next left to do is um, uh, the shell. I'm so happy. I am so happy. Right, guys. I hope you get it in my voice. Uh, but yeah. Uh, next time we're going to get the shell done and dusted and uh, we're going to take her out for a spin with the boys.